We started the day by a series of the earthquakes, micro earthquakes or micro seismicity events in the Sunuka crater chains of the Schwarzing volcanic system. You can see that in this area, rectangle marks it. And as you can see, they were concentrated in a line. That line is a dike uh, and uh, the area that we had eruption in the previous uh, uh, months. And this is the timing of those ones, early morning. And you can see the rise in the purple line, which is a magma line, shows the movement of the magma. This is the low frequency one, bursting of bubbles and movement of the magma. This seismic activity is like that uh, bubbling of the uh, magma or boiling liquid or fluid. Uh, at the moment, we are not seeing the change in the boreholes that we have over the area in the sourcing uh, geothermal power plant. But when the shakes happen, these seismic tremors happening, they actually activate and make the fluid, which is a known Newtonian fluid, the magma, be able to be mobile and move. And that's the way the pathways are made by the shaking, this seismic activity. Sh uh, not only creates them, it also accommodates and eases them up. And uh, this is what we saw, for example, in the prior to the first eruption in the January uh, from the magma reservoir to the seal and the dike. These events happened. Uh, the likely location of the eruption is that the center of this image, you can see that this is where we had several eruptions in the past. When the eruption starts from one point, it extends in both directions, uh, south and north, and like a butterfly, opening its wings, extends. In previous cases, we had cracks extending toward the Grindavik, so Grindavik is a likely location, gradually is moving toward that location. In the previous videos, I actually predicted that this Hagerfell uh, um, fault line will be the location of one of these uh, fissures. We had one which opened and it sliced through the uh, ground toward the Grindavik and caused some fire there. And we had also a phreatic uh, opening from that crack, exact location of the crack, which I predicted in a um, five months ago and we had some phreatic activity there magma accumulation under the sourcing volcanic system continues this day skipatsik heron uh, area that shows a prominent thing of course due to the solar storm we had some uh, discrepancy in the satellite measurements but what we have now the data shows that we had 21 days around 10 days ago now it is around less than two weeks to the eruption this is my prediction and this is all that uh, what we uh, read in the latest update by the Icelandic Meteorological Office. This is explained to you by a geologist and uh, is not a robot uh, copy and pasting something from somewhere. And uh, this is exactly the interpretation of the data they have given. The event is probably likely without an eruption we will have some lava leaking. Uh, flowing to the surface without you know much pressure we have to wait and see this micro seismic activity can actually actually help that uh, flow without an eruption just in the case in the pressure was not enough